200 elite runners braved the humid weather conditions intending to win the big prize money port. Lack of fitness proved to be a stumbling block for the runners as there were many injuries during the race. Defending champion Ethiopian Kitima Nakasam had to pull out in the middle of the race due to cramps. This paved the way for Steven Mukoka to win the race. He clocked a time of 2 hours, 40 minutes and 13 seconds, breaking the world record previously held by the injured Nakasa. For his brilliant performance, Mukoka walked away with a bonus prize money of 150,000 rand on top of the prize money of 130,000 rand. No, 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 it's, it's training, so I had to do certain kinds of training and then see how it works out because I'm playing for a world championship, so I needed to do more Malaysian and then to see if the body will develop. So I hope uh, from here I don't get exhausted and I can be able to resume into training and then well. In the women's race, Ethiopian Amel Work Ricardo Bosho was 30 seconds short of breaking the world record, missing on the bonus prize money. She clocked a time of 3 hours, 40 minutes and 58 seconds to win the race, walking away with a prize money of 130,000 rand. I'm very happy and excited. It's, I'm very happy and excited. PE has a beautiful weather. I love the area. I love the environment. I love the atmosphere. It's amazing. I'm excited. The organizers say it's important for private companies to invest more money in the development of athletics in South Africa. I think for us, um, when COVID hit and we realized just how much it was affecting people both mentally and physically, we actually kicked off the NetBank Running Find as a property, which was basically allowing people to run on their own, safely away from everyone. But we created um, a, a club on Strava, and in the end, it's become the biggest virtual running club on the continent. From Athletic South Africa, we're very excited to see our South African doing very well in South Africa. So as you know very well that some, most of them are coming from COVID. It was tough for those and for these athletes. For now, we are very excited and we are bringing more events for, for, for the athletes now. So we are very excited. And again, the person who broke the South African record, is uh, the world record, is a South African. So for that, we are over the moon. The race has been awarded an elite label status by the World Athletics, which increased the prize money port to 920,000 rand. In this year's edition, participants were invited due to COVID-19. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Kabeha in the Eastern Cape.